Good morning, folks. We've got a calming star facing Earth, but we've got CME set to couple, a coronal hole ready to face Earth, and an elevated watch for earthquakes begins. Let's start over at spaceweathernews.com. In addition to some satellite jitters there, the only thing to note is a far side eruption you can see rippling the corona top left side. That's got more coupling potential. The sunspots on the Earth-facing side are small and not magnetically complex. Solar flaring is nil. Solar wind is calming down even further as well and bottoming out as Earth's shield skips about in the safe zone geomagnetically. Let's talk about earthquakes. The last major uptick was just five days ago as Japan and New Zealand rumbled. With a CME set to couple, however, this coronal hole facing Earth today, Mercury set to geocentrically conjoin Saturn, and the Moon set to oppose the red planet, another big shake may be afoot. The most interesting of the previous day was actually in northern Africa. Not many five-pointers striking there. So folks, you'll recognize this as our animation of the non-geomagnetic introduction of solar storm energy via compression of the magnetopause and Van Allen belts, forcing relativistic electrons down through the atmosphere and helping to create cloud condensation nuclei, invigorated storms, hail nuclei, and lightning. But would you believe we've got the highest energy electrons forced the opposite way as well? Earth fires its own version of the solar wind back at the sun and indeed out in all directions, with the electrons out ahead of our planetary shock being the strongest, and they have no idea how that's possible in collisionless plasma. Anyway, over and across the pond, we're looking at some of the damage from the mini tornado and windstorm that blasted through the UK. Damage does not look so mini, does it? How about that winter storm we discussed yesterday? It's underway and it wasn't all pretty. More coming the next few days. Another note, as a convergence line begins to drench SoCal and the desert over the next few days, it will be key to monitor the west coast of the U.S. for any blot echo activity. Not many Earth spots make their way there. You can see it approaching here as we see pressure and radar across the globe followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.